Okay. Uh, well, I'm going to show a quick video on how I pre-rotate. I got my uh, iPhone cam set up. Here is the RAF. We're going to just do a couple of flights around the pattern and uh, act like we know what we're doing. So, we'll go ahead and get set up inside. I've already done my pre-flight inspection. Clear. Check, 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 check. Adjusting the squelch. Check, check. Okay, hopefully you can hear me in the headset, so... We'll uh, go ahead and get prepped and ready to go. I'm putting on my seat belt, get all my instruments up. We got redundant fuel pumps, so we'll test one. We'll test both of them. One fuel off means the other one's working. One fuel off means the other one's working. Okay. We'll increase idle to about. We'll get everything started to warm up here, and uh, we'll take a flight. My setup here, I got GPS, rotor RPM, engine RPM, stabilator gauge here, uh, set uh, field elevation 200 here, zeroed out, green, waiting on water temperature, green, uh, transponder is off, and I have correct comms. J-22 traffic, experimental gyroplane, 429 Romeo Kilo at the numbers 18 for run-up and takeoff, J-22. We'll be watching. All right. We'll go ahead and taxi out a little bit, and uh, hopefully our water temperature will pull up. I like to always uh, get out on the runway and do a little half moon, check for any traffic. Seeing no traffic, hearing no traffic, we'll go ahead and get uh, started once the water temperature comes up. As you can see, my hangar is right out the back door uh, of 1-8. So I just kind of come out and get ready to go. Looks good. Water is uh, good enough for me. I'm right on the line. Once we pre-rotate, that should come up. What I'm going to do is set my uh, engine RPM about 1250, 1300. That's where I want to be. Turn my uh, take my rotor brake off down there, if you can see. Do one final check in the cockpit. No loose seat belts. My shoulder straps are tight. Turn off the, or uh, undo the gust lock down here at the bottom if you can see. Stick in the full forward position. 1300 RPM, that's good for the engine here. Everything else looks good. I'll go ahead and begin pre-rotating. A little bump bump on my uh, stabilator. There we go. Go ahead and squeeze the brake, uh, squeeze the uh, clutch actuator here, activator. And once we get a couple of revolutions on the rotors here, we should start seeing a register here on the uh, tachometer. Once we get some revolutions showing, we're going to want to get about 100 rotor RPM with the stick in the full forward position. We want to start bringing it back. Uh, beginning at 100. There we go, we're starting to register some. We've got almost 60. Got a really good solid squeeze on it right now. Not too bad of an engine drop. I'll give it just a little power. Just, there we go. Tighter squeeze. Stick still forward. Everything still looks good in the cockpit. 
at about 100 RPM, we'll start bringing the stick to about uh, midway back. That's what I like to do. Looking for 125. At 125, I should go ahead and be all the way back, and then I go 3,500 RPM. Okay, I'm all the way back on my back stick, 3,500. Start my ground roll. Looking for 160 so I can let go of the pre-rotator. There we go, I've let go. Nose is getting light, so I'll go ahead and increase to about 4,000. 200 RPM, I can pull throttle. Here we go. Looking for 45 to 50 before I rotate off. Uh, since I'm doing a short field, 45 will work for me. Adjust my squash.
windows. Bring it on down, bring it on down. We'll do a little long, long approach here. Right here, I kind of like to do some slipping action, a little bit more because I like to uh, plant it right in front of the house sometimes, but this will work. There's a lot of wind here that we can play with. If we'll straighten up here, nice and level, we'll bring it on down. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Get into ground effect. Or bring it back right here. Perfect. Nice little midfield landing. Put the nose back on the ground. Make sure we're straight and level. Everything's green and full throttle. Full throttle.
That's going everywhere. We'll go ahead and get lined up for a good full stop. J-22 traffic, experimental gyro plane is on the deck, back taxi to the north, J-22. Alright, good flight, stick forward when I taxi here. I got good RPM so on my rotor, so I'm going to take advantage of that without using my pre-rotator and go ahead and scoot to the hangar. Everything is green, I like what I'm seeing here, my, uh, everything looks good. So we'll call it a day, I'll do a quick post-flight of the aircraft and we'll put her up. Thanks for watching.